Thank you, Speaker. It is my honour to speak to Bill 104, an act to proclaim Tamil Genocide Education Week, introduced by my friend and colleague, the member from Scarborough Rouge Park. Thank you for sharing your very moving and heartbreaking testimonial with us. I know that wasn't easy to do. To grow up in Canada means to grow up in a country that embraces diversity and welcomes all cultures and ethnicities. We are lucky to call home a place where we can live freely without fear of persecution, a place where the atrocities of genocide are quite simply unthinkable. Unfortunately, the deliberate killing of ethnic groups of people and the destruction of their culture continues to be a very real and very recent reality faced by thousands of Ta Tamils in Sri Lanka. For nearly 30 years, the country was in the grips of a savage civil war that claims the, claimed the lives of thousands. While the world stood by, widespread shelling targeted Tamil civilians, uh, merciless attacks were carried out against innocents, and families were torn apart while hospitals were bombarded, all while humanitarian assistance was denied. What I, what I just described was the daily reality in Sri Lanka just 10 years ago, an island nation in the Indian Ocean that endured three decades of a brutal civil war that took more than 100,000 lives. It seems unimaginable that such a massacre could have been unfolding for so long, just halfway across the world, Yet this is exactly what happened. There are a few words, if any, that can really capture the kind of devastation and crimes against humanity that took place, but genocide is one of them, and of that, there is no doubt. In the final months alone, the civil war in Sri Lanka claimed the lives of more than 50,000 people, but this is only an estimate, and but for a fraction of the true number, which is believed to be closer to over 70,000 civilians being killed in the fi final months of the devastating war. These attacks targeted Tamils for no other reason than that they were Tamil. It was discrimination of the worst kind, and we must never let ourselves forget what happened. This is why Bill 104 is so important, because it will remind us of the tragic cost of war and of the precious lives lost. It will remind us that we must never stand by as a genocide unfolds. In declaring the week of May 18th to be Tamil Genocide Education Week, this bill will memorialize all the innocent lives that were taken. It will make sure that current and future generations reflect on and educate the public about the enduring lessons of the Tamil genocide and other crimes against humanity. Ontario is home to one of the world's largest Tamil diaspora communities, many of which live in the city of Mississauga. I've heard from many of my Mississauga Centre constituents that they support the recognition of this historically significant event, which has recently impacted an entire nation. We must never allow the, hor the horrors of war and the failings of humanity to be forgotten with the passage of time. We must respect and honour the casualties of this atrocity by working together for a better future, a better Ontario, a better Canada, and a better humanity. Thank you, Madam Speaker.